Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kinesthetic and I'm here with you guys today to help you find out what porosity level your hair is and how that affects the products that you should be using in your hair. Before we get started, do not forget to subscribe by hitting that red subscribe button down below. We're on the road to 1k and if you guys enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up so I know what kind of videos you guys are enjoying and without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So, if you guys do not follow me on Instagram, which you guys should be by now and if you're not, I'm just gonna go ahead and insert my Instagram handle right here. But about two Two weeks ago i facilitated a session at melanin boys first ever silly academy event and it was basically centered around helping girls find out what hair porosity levels they have and how they should go about picking their products what products they should use what they should be doing to their hair and all of that jazz and it was an amazing event thank you again melanin boy for trusting me to facilitate one of your sessions and the ladies learned so much about their hair so much that i was like let me go ahead and provide my subbies with this information in a video because it's just i just feel like it's the core of finding out what products you should be using how you should be treating your hair etc etc so here i am today to share this information with you guys so, as we all know, YouTube is a very resourceful tool when it comes to learning how to do our hair and makeup and looking at tutorials of all of these amazing, beautiful, talented people. And most of the time we look at videos and we see people using these products and we're like, oh my God, I'm going to the store tomorrow. I'm getting this product because I want my hair to look like that or I want my makeup to look like that. You go get the product, you come home and you do the same steps to your hair and you're finished but your hair doesn't look the same way that the persons did in their youtube video and you're sitting there contemplating life and the coins that you just splurged on these products because we know they're not cheap and you're like oh my god like what did i do wrong and since i'm here to inform you that you probably did not assess your hair to see if it compared or how it compared to the person's video you were watching and you just disregarded all of that and you're like oh it was just the product that made their hair look like that and you didn't consider their hair type their hair texture their porosity level etc etc there's so many factors that go into defining who and what our hair is and then going ahead and picking what products we should be using so i'm here to help you guys with one of those factors that determine you know what products you should be using what products will work for you will not work for you um which products you should be looking for which you should not be looking for in product so our hair porosity is one of those factors that we should assess when it comes to figuring out what products to pick up and what the ultimate goal of the products that we should be reaching for are so in case you guys do not know our hair porosity is our hair's ability to absorb water to absorb moisture and just do a thing okay there are three levels of hair porosity which are low medium and high and your hair porosity could be determined by several things including genetics chemical processes so basically we started off the session with the float test in case you guys do not know the float test is a test that you can do by yourself in your house in five minutes or less to find out what porosity level your hair is yes i said it five minutes or less by yourself you could do it you're gonna do it let's get into it so for the flow test what you'll need is a bowl with warm water and the next thing you're gonna need are a couple strands of your hair cleaned yes I said clean so I would suggest doing this after you like shampoo deep condition and do the whole nine just go ahead and take some hairs out of your comb out of your brush out of your scalp get it how you can so I have a couple strands of my clean hair here. I'm not sure if you guys can see it but we got a few strands so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your clean strands of hair and you're going to put it in this bowl of water and you're gonna let it sit for five minutes so five minutes later we're gonna go back to our bowl and basically figure out our hair porosity so as I mentioned earlier there are three levels of hair porosity there is low there is medium and there is high if you have low hair porosity after five minutes you will see your hair strands floating at the top of the bowl if you have high hair porosity then you would notice that your hair strands have sunk to the bottom of the bowl after five minutes and then if your hair is like floating somewhere in the middle of the bowl then you have medium porosity here so we're gonna go in and basically i already know what porosity level my hair is and if you guys are not new to my channel you guys know what hair porosity level i have but we're gonna go ahead and just look into the bowl just so you guys have an idea of what it looks like if you have the same porosity level as me so 
I don't know how to show you guys the bowl without spilling the water over. OMG. I figured it out. Ah! <laughs> Okay, so I figured out a way for you guys to see the bowl without making a whole mess on my floor that I was not trying to clean up tonight. But um, as you guys can see, my hair strands are floating at the top of the water, which means I do have low porosity here. So after you beauties have determined what hair porosity level you have, the next step is what does each porosity level mean? And it's okay sis, I'm here to help you guys out to let you guys know what each hair porosity level means and what that means as far as the products that you should and should not be reaching for. So I have all of my notes written here so if you see me looking off to the side then y'all know what I'm looking at. Just looking at my notes in my phone. But if you have low porosity hair that basically means that it may be hard for your hair to absorb moisture and water. So my hair is low porosity. I mentioned it in almost and if not all of my hair videos. And it's just very difficult for my hair to absorb water, to absorb moisture and when I tell you guys that deep conditioning is key for low porosity hair, it is the key, okay? If you're low porosity and you're not deep conditioning, that is probably one of the main reasons why your hair results when you're doing twist outs, wash and goes, whatever the case is, is not coming out the way that you would like it to. Deep conditioning it is key. So if you have low porosity hair, your hair focus is basically finding ways to lock in moisture in your hair so deep conditioning is one of those ways when you're deep conditioning you want to make sure that you're using deep conditioners that have a focus of adding moisture to your hair some suggestions of deep conditioners that help do that are the Maya Organics Babasu and Mint Deep Conditioner. That deep conditioner is bomb. It gives you so much moisture. Another suggestion is the Camille Rose Naturals Algae Algae. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I'll put it on the screen. But that deep conditioner is bomb.com. I also did a video telling you guys my favorite deep conditioners, which I'll go ahead and link up here in case you guys did not see that video. But deep conditioning is key. Like, I cannot stress it enough. If you're not deep conditioning, then... And that is most likely the reason why when you're doing your hair, it's not coming out the way you want it to. You find that your hair is looking dry, it feels dry. It's because you're not deep conditioning, sis. And after this video, you're going to start deep conditioning and your hair is just going to change in so many different ways. I promise you it will. Also, if you are low porosity, you want to be careful with the amount of protein that you are providing your hair with. So protein treatments, I do them about once a month now just because it's very cold in New York. And when it's cold outside, your hair gets like brittle and you kind of want to be careful careful with how much protein you give your hair because protein basically makes your hair stronger and if you keep protein in your hair for too long or you're giving your hair too much protein it kind of contradicts the purpose of making your hair stronger and kind of reverses it and makes it more brittle and the protein treatment i use is the Tropica living black jamaican castor oil protein treatment i also included that in my favorite deep conditioners video but another source of protein that you can use for your hair is rice water in case you guys did not see my video on how to make rice water and how i apply rice water to my hair i'll go ahead and link that above here so that you guys can reference it but rice water is a great way to add protein to your hair but once again you want to be careful with with how much rice water you supply your hair with just because we have to remember at the end of the day rice water is a protein and we need to treat it just like we do a protein treatment not to keep it in for too long not to do it too often another recommendation i have for low porosity girls is that if you are doing a protein treatment i would recommend doing that first and then deep conditioning kind of to lock in that moisture as the final step also as i emphasize in my coloring natural hair video if you guys did not see that video i'm gonna go ahead and link it above here but in that video one thing I mainly emphasize is that there is a common misconception that applying oil to your hair is moisturizing your hair and that is absolutely false absolutely false absolutely false oiling your hair does not moisturize your hair oiling your hair is not a bad thing but we need to remember that it does not substitute or it does not supply moisture to our hair so using oils in your hair as a low porosity girl you want to make sure that you are using lightweight oils and some oil suggestions are jojoba oil coconut oil and mineral oils so if you guys did not see my video on how i prepare and apply my hot oil treatment to my hair i also walk through different oils that you could include in like your hot oil treatments and the different benefits that they have for your hair depending on your hair type your hair texture your porosity levels i'll go ahead and link that above here also all of the videos i am speaking about will also be in the description box down below I have a lot of videos i know i'm always here to give you guys tea on what works what does not work for your hair based on my experiences so so 
So moving on to medium porosity hair. So if you have medium porosity hair, which as a refresher meant that your hair strands were kind of like floating midway in the bowl of water during our float test, that basically means that you want to avoid protein in your everyday hair regimen. So whether it's your leave-in conditioners, your hair milks, your styling products, you want to make sure that they don't have a lot of protein in them, that they are not like a protein-based product just because you should not be applying too much protein to your hair you also want to make sure that you are deep conditioning periodically with a product that does include protein and then moving on to high porosity hair <sighs> High porosity hair. So for high porosity hair, you want to make sure you're using antihemesins, especially when it's humid, to help seal your cuticles and prevent them from absorbing too much moisture. So some examples of ingredients in products that you do want to look out for, which are good for your hair if you have high porosity hair, is raw shea butter, coconut oil, extra virgin olive oil, and palm oil. Also, you want to make sure that your leave-in conditioners and moisturizers will provide your hair with moisture through the day, but use a sealer when you are styling your hair, such as avocado oil, in order to retain moisture and prevent your hair from getting dry. So some product suggestions that you can use in your hair if you do have high porosity hair include the Camille Rose Coconut Water Line. It is bomb.com for high porosity hair girls because it has so many natural and great ingredients that help you retain the moisture in your hair without drying it out and also the Camille Rose sealing leave-in conditioner in case you guys do not know last year Camille Rose Naturals blessed us with the leave-in conditioner line and they do have one leave-in conditioner that is focused on sealing your hair so that basically summarizes each level of hair porosity and some product suggestions that you can look out for and you can try using based on your porosity level so to close out I just want to remind all of you beauties that there is no such thing as good or bad hair your hair is beautiful your hair is bomb your hair is gonna do amazing things especially after watching this video and figuring out how you should alter or select the products that you use in your hair there can be two people who have the same curl pattern the same hair texture but different porosity levels and that changes the products that they should be using in their hair because I believe at the end of the day that the products that you should be using should cater to the different porosity levels that your hair is and no matter if you're low porosity medium porosity high porosity they there is one product and one step that all of us should be doing in our wash day routines and that is say it with me because I know you guys should know the answer by now and it is deep conditioning all of you guys should be deep conditioning I deep condition three times a week you should be deep conditioning at least once a week and your deep conditioner should be focused on providing your hair with the different types of moisture protein whatever that we discussed earlier depending on if you are low medium or high porosity hair so I just wanted to make this video to provide you guys with the information that I provided my lovely ladies with at the melanin moy event if you guys have any questions or comments leave them down below and i'm always answering if you have a question or a comment that you do not feel comfortable leaving on my public video then go ahead and dm me on instagram or on twitter i'm always responding to you guys and before you guys head out do not forget to subscribe by hitting that red subscribe button down below and giving this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video before you guys head out i'm just gonna go ahead and include my recent uploads here in case you guys are not caught up for whatever reason and until my next video i will see you guys later